Welcome to the magical world of nonlinear systems. They are infinitely harder, but also infinitely more interesting. And in fact, we'll see two really cool applications of them very soon. And so for instance, an example of a nonlinear system would be something like x prime of t is x squared plus xy plus e to the y. So you see we have the square term and also x and y are combined and e to the y. And also y prime of t is cosine x plus 2y. We're here again, x and y are two functions of time. And y equals y of t. So before they were coupled linearly, but now here we have a very nonlinear interaction. And the first thing to notice is that we can actually write this in vector form. So note, can write this in the form. So x prime of t is not ax, but a nonlinear function of x. So we can write this in this form where Again, what is the vector x is our two functions. So where at? Well, the vector x is our two functions, x of t, y of t, and the nonlinear function f of x, y is just x squared plus xy plus e to the y and cosine of x plus two. And once again, compare this with x prime equals ax before a was a linear matrix, but now f is any nonlinear function, just like in multivariable calculus. And of course, the first question we're interested in is, does this even have a solution? even have a solution. And I would like to remind you, we had a theorem about first order ODEs called the existence uniqueness theorem. Then it's uniqueness. Which simply said that if f and its derivatives, so partial f over partial y, are continuous, then our first order EODE has a solution. Then y prime equals f of y of t has a unique solution. I know it's been a while, but remember there was a very easy criterion of checking if we have a unique solution. And it turns out the same thing is true here, except we need to replace this derivative by what's called a gradient. So same thing here. Thing here but replace partial f over partial y with what's called the gradient. And that's really, you differentiate the hell out of everything. So definition, the gradient of f, and again, remember what was f? It was this vector here, and literally all you do, you differentiate both components with respect to all the variables. So, so in this case, partial x squared plus xy plus e to the y 
with respect to x, partial x squared plus xy plus e to the y with respect to y, and then partial cosine x plus 2y with respect to x, and partial cosine x plus 2y with respect to y. Which looks scary, but in this case simplifies tremendously because we end up getting that the gradient here is 2x plus y, and then I think x plus e to the y, and I think minus sine of x, and then 2. And the question is, what is the criterion? Same thing if your function and that gradient are continuous, then we do have a unique solution. So fact, if f and this matrix are continuous, by the way, uh, matrix being continuous means each component is continuous, then our ODE, x prime of t equals f of x of t with some given initial condition. So x at zero is x naught. This is given, has a unique solution for t close to zero. Unique solution. solution. X of t for t close to zero. In other words, if I give you an initial condition, if I give you some vector x0, then the ODE has a unique solution near that vector. Maybe this x of so, in other words, the answer here is yes, as long as everything is continuous. And once again, this implies that solutions cannot cross. Cannot cross. So we can't have a situation where one solution is like that and the other solution is like that. Because once again, if this is our initial condition, then the question is, which solution do we pick? This one or this one? We don't know. 